Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. Today's video, we're going to be mixing up nutrients for all of my rind crops. I got my tomatoes, my peppers, and over on the far side over there are my cucumbers. So stay tuned. So what I'm going to show you today is my step-by-step -step process of mixing my bulk nutrients for my vine crops. I have to get my formulas together, I have to get my macronutrients and my micronutrients weighed out, I have to get them mixed in my holding tanks, and then make sure my dosatrons are calibrated perfectly, and once that's done, I'll put all the nutrients to the plants and watch them grow. So the first thing that I do whenever I change my nutrients is I clean out my blue nutrient storage tanks because I'd like to get them nice and fresh and clean because there's always some residue at the bottom because you never can suck it all out. And also one thing, you want to make sure that you only make enough nutrients for three weeks. Otherwise, you get all this slimy stuff on the bottom, clogs up your filters, and it's just not good. Okay, that looks pretty clean. I wanted to tell you what I do with my tanks. I number them so I know which tank gets the micronutrients and which ones gets the macronutrients. So I have my tanks in place here and the control tunnel here is at a slope because the head house is higher than the greenhouse so we've got a little bit of slope here. So I do have to put a piece of wood underneath the tank to keep it level because it's easier to fill up that way. And like I said, I cleaned all the filters off the bottom here. These are really nice. They're nice weighted, so they stay at the bottom for me. And you can tell this is the one that has the iron in it because it's got the orange staining. And I got the other one all cleaned up. And this tank over here I didn't have to do anything with is the pH adjust. So now I got to fill them up with water. So when we put in the dosatron system so I wouldn't have to carry a hose over to fill up these tanks, we put a nice little hose here with a valve and I can fill them up very easily. And I like to fill up the tanks first before I start measuring everything out. It gives the water time to get a little bit warmer and it's easier to mix the nutrients then. I have the blue tanks filled up with water, it's letting the water heat up a little bit, so now it's time to get my formulas. All these formulas I have are based off of my source water. I had to have it tested and then Crop King put together these formulas for me. And I have a couple different ones. I have one for my strawberries when I get those going. I have another one for my lettuce crop that's in the NFTs that's in the big nutrient tank back there and then I have two for my tomatoes one is for when the tomatoes are smaller and don't have any uh, fruit on them but once they get to the third cluster I do a boosted tomato uh, formula and that's what I'm going to do today and then I have a formula for all my micronutrients so I have different scales here I have this one that's an open country it's called it goes up to 150 pounds and this is what I use for my macro and for my micro because I only need grams of everything I have this little scale here that works out really well that does grams to point I think point zero 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 so it does a really good job of measuring for me so let's go do the macros first well we're in the garage part of the head house originally we were going to park the van in here but it was too tight and I needed a place to store all my nutrients and everything else that goes along with the greenhouse so we have tools in here that we're building another garage next to the greenhouse in front of the high tunnel so once that gets done, all, a lot of this stuff will be out of here because this is the best place for me to keep my nutrients. It's easier for me to weigh them out and then get them over to the greenhouse. With the setup that I have with my commercial greenhouse, it's more economical for me to buy my bulk nutrients. And I buy them for a six months supply. And you can tell I have my 50 pound bags here. So I got my calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, magnesium sulfate, Epsom salts, potassium sulfate, and monopotassium phosphate. So I have to use all of these into the nutrient tanks. So I'm going to get them weighed out and we'll go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix up stock tank number one, which is the calcium nitrate and potassium nitrate and the cleated iron. I think that's how you say it. To weigh out the nutrients, I put my scale here on the floor. I put my bucket on there that I'm going to be carrying it in. Get the tar or tear, however you say that. And I use one bucket for each different type of nutrient so I don't get them all mixed up. So I'm first going to weigh out my calcium nitrate. Need just a little bit more, so I gotta open another bag. So, calcium nitrate is over 20 pounds I'm putting in my 25 uh, gallon stock tanks out there. 
And when this is all said and done, uh, all the nutrients I have here, it's going to be 55 pounds total between the two of them. When we first started the greenhouse, I didn't have the dosatron system set up in the, the control tunnel for my betel bucket tomato vine crop production. So I bought a commercial hydroponic fertilizer from Crop King and it worked out really well. But since I already had, was buying everything in bulk for my NFT channels, I said, you know, why not just get the bulk formula and recipe from Crop King, paid a little extra money and got it and it's working out good. But on a smaller scale, this is really good to go to. This bag's too heavy to pick up, so I do it cup by cup. I think I'd have these memorized after all this time, but I don't. Yeah, just one little squeaky. Okay, perfect. Okay, there we go for tank one. And I always like to take out the filter so it doesn't get clogged up. So as I put each nutrient in, I like to stir it up and get each one mixed up. And I know people always comment about me using a round pipe. I just think it's cleaner than using a, a wooden one and it's easier on my hands. There. You can hear it getting mixed up down there. Notice that I didn't fill the tank all the way up to the top because of the water displacement when you put the nutrients in. And I'm not sure exactly where it's going to be, so I top it off when I get them all in. I've read that people put air stones in the nutrient tanks to keep it all circulated so none of the nutrients fall out of suspension. And I've been thinking about that, and I'm definitely going to get some because I notice when I look in the tanks, you can tell when it settles to the bottom and needs to be stirred up. If you use air stones, please leave me a comment and let me know how they work and what type you're using. So now I'm ready to do stock tank number two, and the heaviest ingredient in that is magnesium sulfate, and it's actually Epsom salt. It's over 10 pounds. Now that I have all the bulk nutrients, weigh it out. Now I need to do the micro mix. And what I have for the micro mix is magnesium sulfate, boron, copper sulfate, sodium molydate, and zinc sulfate. And these are all measured out in grams to 0.4 decimals. So I have a really nice scale here that's able to do that for me. And I just go through with my little scoop here and weigh them out and then I'll put them into the nutrient tank. This is my favorite one to weigh out because look at the beautiful color of the copper sulfate. It is so cool. So all these go into stock tank two with the micros. So here's my micro mix to go into tank two. And the copper always turns the water really cool blue color. Should I get everybody in there? I think I'll go ahead and tip them off. Yeah. One more thing to measure out, and it's the iron that goes in tank one. Got the iron weighed out. Put it in here, and the water turns orange. So I'll get these all stirred up and topped off with some water. Okay, let's get these guys topped off.
I have the dosatron set at 0.5% for both A and B, and then for the pH adjust is at 0.1, no, I'm sorry, excuse me, 1.2%. So that's the amount of uptake it's doing in here, mixing it in the mixing pot, and then shooting it out to the greenhouse for the plants. Well, that was a good job I got done this morning, getting the nutrients all mixed up for the tomato plants. And it's so nice having the Dosatron system compared to the old way I had to do it. I had stock tanks in here with some pumps and it had two different ones for each side of the aisle. It's just so much easier now. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I have to do. And like always, please leave me any questions, comments, and suggestions down below. And please subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.